You come highly recommended by Alvin Carpus. At the arraignment, they're gonna try and transfer me to the state pen. What can you do for me? What's on your mind? The electric chair. Your Honor, are we to have an arraignment in accord with the laws of this nation, or is the state to be permitted to incite an atmosphere of prejudice? The very air reeks with the bloody rancor of intolerant malice. The clanging of shackles brings to our remains the dungeons of the czars, not the flag bedecked liberty of an American courtroom. I request the court to direct that those shackles be removed forthwith. This is a very dangerous man, Your Honor. And I'm responsible for the safeguarding of this prison. Are you a lawyer? What right do you have to address this court? All right. Remove the shackles from the prisoner. Your Honor, we would like to relocate the prisoner. Only Indiana State Penitentiary in Michigan City can guarantee Dillinger will not escape. Sheriff Holly. I concur, Your Honor. Sheriff Holly, I think this is a very nice jail you have right here. What makes you think there's something wrong with it? There's nothing wrong with my jail. It's the strongest jail in Indiana. That's what I thought. But of course, I don't want to embarrass Mrs. Halley. I, uh, I appreciate she's a woman and she's afraid of an escape. Oh, no, I'm not afraid of an escape. I can take care of John Dillinger or any other prisoner. OK. Dillinger will stay here. Thank you, Your Honor. The defense will need four months to prepare itself. It should take 10 days. Go to trial in 10 days to be a legal lynching of this lad. There's a law against lynching. There's a law against murder. Then observe the law part. Or just stand Dillinger up against a wall and shoot him. Just shoot him. Then there's no need to throw away the state's money on this mockery. Calm down. I apologize to the court. Bob and I respect each other very much. <laughs> Watch out. He'll be putting his arm around you, too. <laughs> Trial starts in one month on March 12th. Good morning. 